Have you ever heard of weathering before? You heard of that? No. So that's a term which basically means chronic stress. Like your body mm. is always in fight or flight mode. And so oh. for, you know, specifically, you know, black women, um, black people in general, but today black women, um, since we're talking about maternal health, has a high um, weathering component because of the chronic stress that we're always under. You know, one time mm -hmm. I read a study about like how often, how many times a day do you think about your race? Or how many times if you walk in a store and somebody is following you, you think, oh, it's because I'm black. Or if you go in a room and you recognize, oh, it's not many other brown faces in here. And hmm, how, how will that impact me? Or in corporate America, your hair, you know, like, how how will this be received? I'm walking in this room and everybody looks one way. Will this be an issue? You know, recently they just passed the Crown Act, what, a, a year or so ago? Do you familiar with that? You heard about that? Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. I just yeah. saw an article about it. Yeah. Can you remind me? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so basically, I don't know all the ins and outs, but just the just the the surface level is just where companies, teams, organizations can't discriminate on a person based on their hair. Okay. Um, yeah, because a lot yes. of there, I won't get too deep on it, but it's been a lot of studies, suspensions, mm -hmm. all kind of things yeah. tied into right, right, and then who mostly has those types of hairstyles? They typically identify as. A black person or black, or, <clears throat> excuse me, black or brown person, mm -hmm. right? And so, yeah, and so that was a whole thing. Like, oh, if you're going for a job interview, your hair is not professional, but this is my natural hair state. So why is it not professional, or why should my hair dictate the type of work that I'm able to to do? You know, those mm -hmm. types of things. So those are things that black women don't realize play a role in stress and stress wreaks havoc on our bodies. Stress is a, mm -hmm. one of the top 10, it can be a, it can, it can kill you. It really can because stress then turns to other things, right? Now you're stressed. Now I got headaches or I got migraines or mm -hmm. I, the body, you know, my organs are not, um, functioning at their highest level of efficiency because I'm constantly in this space of fight or flight. And that's what chronic stress and weathering is. And if you look at the life course perspective of individuals, you know, but specifically black women, you'll see that that stress starts really young, just in terms of kids being aware that, you know, of their ethnicity. And so mm -hmm. those things really weigh on people. We are just, um, maybe more conditioned here, you know, because it's just, you just get used to it, but those things really do impact you, you know? And so um, that's what weathering is. And mm. that's that, that chronic stress that a lot of black and brown people experience here um, in this country and some, some, some States more so, or some regions more so than others, you know, depending on where you, live in the state or in the country so okay. those are things yeah and then so weathering leads to the preeclampsia well we, we have the it can um mm. i'm just saying in terms of the stress in terms of looking at in comparison to other countries why is it not an issue there as opposed to america and so mm. now i have not i will say i have not done all the research to present it here today, but that yeah. is just, um, and I have done research actually on the topic. So that is just something that, you know, I don't have all of it, like I said, lined mm -hmm. out today, but yeah. that is something that is a um, factor.